Welcome, it's Teacher Appreciation Week, and welcome to a special edition of Family Feud. We're doing Staff Feud. And here today we have Erickson Elementary versus the Estabrook Learning Community. Welcome, everybody. All right. Let's go ahead and start playing Family Feud. Our first round, we have Jessica Schmidt versus Tiffany Powell. Come on now. Woo! Woo! Come on, Tiffany! All right, we're going to go start off with introductions. So if you could just introduce it, we're going to start off with Erickson and then we'll go to Estabrook. But if you could start off, tell us your name, what grade you teach, and how many years you've been with YCS. So we'll start with you, Jessica. Um, Jessica, I've been teaching at Erickson for four years. I teach fourth grade. Welcome All right, welcome. <laughs> I'm Tiffany Powell. I teach at Estabrook. I teach third grade. And I've been teaching for YCS about 24 years now. 24 years. Mm -hmm. right. That's Welcome. right. Okay. Well, these are our two captains, and let's get ready to play the first round of Family Feud. All right. We asked 100 people for their favorite answer, and we came up with five of the most popular choices. Name something you'll see on a tropical island. That was Jess. All right. Jessica, what's your Palm answer? trees. Show me palm trees. That's the number one answer. Play or pass? Oh, uh, we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Okay, so at this point, Esther Brook, make sure all your microphones are on mute. <clears throat> Eric saying you could unmute, and we're gonna start with Miss Ellison Crawley. Name something you'll see on a tropical island. Beaches. Show me beaches. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to go to Meg. Meg, name something you'll see on a tropical island. Coconuts. Show me coconuts. Oh, come oh. on. All right. Uh, we're on Sandy. Sandy, name something you'll see on a tropical island. Mm, snakes. Mm. Show me snakes. <laughs> oh, OK. We are on Keisha. Keisha, name something you'll see on a tropical island. I'm going to say seashells. Show me. I mean, so <laughs> sorry. You know what? Show me that would be beach. Oh, uh, that would be beach? Okay, we're going to let you give another answer. Okay. Um, <laughs> driftwood? <laughs> driftwood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. At this point, uh, Erickson, you will now mute your mics, and Estabrook, you may unmute. Okay, we're going to go over here. Everybody could blur out the answer, but Tiffany, you are the captain. You will give the final answer. So when I hear the final answer, I will see verify if that's correct or not. Yeah, you may Hammocks. I say pineapples. Co coconuts. Boats. boats. Coconuts were already there. Uh, boats. Okay. Boats. Paris. 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 Sand. Paris. We already go. got sand. Alvarado. Okay, Tiffany. Alvarado. I know the answer, Tiffany. Oh. Okay. Let's go with Alvarado. Pineapple. Alvarado. Y yes, Kira. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, I need you to hold on because I got to look something up. The judges have to ch have to check something. Okay. Commercial break. Yeah, I know. Is it, I can't see the screen. Do, 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 do. on it? Yes. I don't know what's wrong with mine. You've got to manipulate it. <laughs> okay, hold on. This will be a, it'll be a commercial. That's why I drink aqua water. Okay. Two times a day. Mm. Very refreshing. So uh, it's, this is a hard one on the judging. Um, so, okay, your your answer is pineapple. Pineapple. <laughs> uh, yes, that's our answer. Oh, okay. So that means the first round goes to Erickson. They got the first point. Let's go see the answer. Show us the answers. Let's see it. Water. Water. Uh, Number four. A boat. Flowers. Number three. Okay, so here's the disclaimer. Coconut can be a seed, a fruit, or something else. 
but I can't read now. But oh, I just oh, said no. So because it wasn't exactly matching fruit, you guys were very specific on pineapple or coconut. Pineapple's a fruit? Yeah. I did fair on that one. Oh, yeah. Because I would have had to take coconut. And I did. Uh, so I couldn't gotcha. take pineapple. All I just right. want to let you know. We're All right. On. So Erickson, it's one point. All right. Yep. Esther Brooks still needs to get on the board. All right. Shall we go to round two? Freaky mm -hmm. Ellison versus Dana, round two. Come on, Dana, yeah, let's Dana. go, Dana. <laughs> Air right. handshake, Air Ellison, handshake. Ellison, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I've been teaching at Ypsilanti for 18 years. <laughs> oh, wow, what grade yeah. are you teach? All right. All over the place. All over, all over. All, <laughs> all over. All right, Dana, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well. Mr. Alvarado. I'm Dana. I teach at Estabrook. I this year teach third grade, but I've taught fourth and fifth as well. And this is my sixth year in Ypsilanti Community School. All right. Well, welcome. Bye -bye. Okay. We asked 100 people, top five survey, name something a man might wear a long time before cleaning. Allison. Allison. Underwear. Show me underwear. That's the number one answer. Clear pass. Ew. Go, <laughs> oh, Allison. Play. Allison, you got a player pass. Oh, we're going to play. You're going to play. Okay, so we're going to mute Estabrook and we're going to go to Erickson. Okay, we're on Meg. Meg, name something a man might wear a long time before cleaning. Socks. Socks. Show me socks. <laughs> All right, we're on Sandy. Shirt. Sandy. Shirt. Shirt. Show me a shirt. Okay. We're on Keisha. Name oh boy. You might wear. Long time before cleaning. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said everything. Socks. I don't know. We're gonna need an answer. Okay. Um, his... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm sorry, we ran out of time. We're going to go right back up to Jessica. Mm. Jessica, name something a man might wear a long time before cleaning. Jeans. Jeans. Show me jeans. Uh, All right. Allison, mm. name something. We got two strikes and we need two more answers. Otherwise, Estabrook is steel. Name something a man might wear a long time before cleaning. Down Sorry, it. I was muted. Swim trunks. <laughs> Show me swim trunks. Oh. oh. All right, we're going to go over to Estabrook. Go ahead. You may unmute yourself, Estabrook. And oh. Tiffany, that's the final answer. Go ahead and debrief. Name something a man might wear a long time before cleaning. Shoes. What do you guys think, guys? What do you think? Shoes. 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 All right, we're going to go with shoes. Shoes. Show me shoes. Oh, oh, second point God. for Erickson. Let's see what the Woo! number five answer is. Half. Yeah. Number three. Ah. Coat or jacket. Mm -hmm. That round goes to Erickson. We're on the third round. Show me Meg and Bill. Come on now. Come Woo! on, Bill. We got to get this. All right. We got to get one here. Come on now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Meg, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm Tidal at Ericsson, and I've been in Ipsy for six years. All right, welcome. And we have Bill from Estabrook. Fifth grade teacher, my first year. First year, well, welcome to YCS. Thank All you. right, we're ready for round three. And this is name someone whose job it is to help people make difficult decisions. That was Bill. Bill. A uh, counselor. Hey, show me counselor. That's the number one answer. That's, that's uh, the we're going to play this one. You got to play. Okay. We're going to play that. All Chelsea. right. Let's go. All Woo! right, Chelsea. Name someone whose job it is to help people make difficult decisions. I want to say like a doctor or a nurse. Show me a doctor or a nurse. 
<laughs> good answer. Good answer. All right. We're on Keely Ann. Okay. How about a judge? Show me a judge. Good answer. All right. Yeah. All right. We're on tip for you, Tiffany. Name someone whose job it is to help people make difficult decisions. How about a lawyer? Lawyer. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. We're on you, Dana. We have zero strikes and one answer left. Name I'm someone whose job it is to help people make difficult decisions. I was going to say lawyer. Um, <laughs> let's go with. Um, a teacher. Yeah, a teacher. good so answer. Good answer. All right. Good answer. Oh. Oh. Hey, All man. right. Where are you, Bill? Okay, uh, Bill. Police. 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 All right. Oh. How about a parent, guys? Parent. All right. Chelsea, we're on oh. one more answer, two strikes. Chance Erickson get a chance to steal, and if Erickson steals it, they win the game. Oh no! no. Name I'm someone good. whose job it is to help people make difficult decisions. I am gonna say I'm gonna go with a parent. A parent. A, job, a parent is a job. Well, we're talking about like. Oh, you want like a like a, a job that you can okay. get like okay. or something okay. like that? I don't want you to do parent because it would have just said children, you know. Um, oh my gosh, maybe, oh my gosh, how about a nanny or a babysitter? Show me nanny, babysitter. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, 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 okay. All right, we're okay. Go ahead and unmute okay. yourself. Go ahead, Erickson, this is for the win Ooh, of the game. Me. Go ahead and debrief. Name someone whose job it is to help people make difficult decisions. What about right. like a, 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 a governor, teacher, guys? Governor, uh, or administrator, know. president. I'm thinking a priest. Priest. priest or oh, rabbi, priest. Religious yeah. Leader. Pastor, priest. yeah. Pastor, what do you think? Yeah, yeah like priest. priest. Pastor. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go with uh, p priest or pastor. Show me priest or pastor for the game. Woo! All right. <laughs> for the game is Eric David. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be challenging Perry on Thursday for round two. Woo! to the championship. Happy teacher. Appreciate Thank you Good very much. We appreciate you being <laughs> here. Special parting gift. And you're getting Saturday and Sunday off. Enjoy your day. And we will see you, Erickson, on Thursday. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye.